Folks, you all know uh, I started out the show of, of uh, remembering my shipmates. And all the listeners that have, have uh, listened to your voice counts know that. I do this show for the, for the memory of the murdered shipmates, the 34 murdered aboard the USS Liberty and the 174 others wounded, including myself. Folks, some of the wounded were so severely wounded, you could hardly look at them. Your heart would ball up inside of you and would bring you to tears. That's how badly these men were wounded. With very little medical help, we only had one doctor aboard, Dr. Kiefer, and a couple corpsmen. With 174 wounded men, can you imagine the task that they had? And the, these, these fine American sailors and Marines were brought down by the Zionist State of Israel. It, uh, the attack lasted about as long as the attack on, on Pearl Harbor. A long, long attack. The United States government recalled rescue aircraft when we, they knew we were under attack by a foreign government. And they left us out there alone. And they knew that Israel was doing the attacking. Our government knew Israel was doing attacking and they called back the rescue aircraft anyway. In fact, they've been calling back the rescue aircraft ever since June 8, 1967, since this very minute. All administrations have done the same thing. They left us out there to do what the Israelis wanted to do to us, and they did. You know, there's an old saying, and it goes back many, many years. I don't care what service you press, service you in. You join the armed forces, and they say, we will, we will leave no man behind. We will leave no man behind. Well, this government, the government of the United States, left a crew of 294 men and its ship behind to sink and be slaughtered by the Zionist State of Israel. And it is, in my view, one of the greatest crimes that has been committed in this century. They left us out there in our hour of need. And the truth is, folks, uh, what I'm trying to do here is, is let you know about the enormous cover-up by the United States of America and the Zionist State of Israel in the murderous, slaughterous, filthy, backstabbing attack on one of our finest ships in the United States Navy, the USS Liberty. It was cold-blooded, premeditated murder, folks, of Americans on the high seas. An act of war against you, all of you in America, your family, your friends. An act of war. In the war crimes they committed against the crew, it follows, it follows over to uh, you too, folks. I mean, you know, when they... When they commit war crimes, they commit war crimes against all of us. It's just not one of us. We're all Americans here. And when they murdered your sons on the high seas, as they've gotten by with murdering so many other people by the state of Israel, the Zionist state of Israel, and our government does nothing about it. You know, I've told the local sheriff, I've told my congressman I've told the mayors I've told uh, senators I've told men in uh, high places in the military I've told many many presidents about the cold-blooded murder and cover-up about the uh, USS Liberty attack and they all turn their heads they look the other way 
This was no mistaken identity, folks. The United States and Israel both knew we were, we were being attacked by the state of Israel. And they did it anyway. They wanted us all to sink and blame it on Egypt. You think we were close to a nuclear war now? We were within seconds of a nuclear war in 1967. I tell you this because we are the people. The people of this country elect our uh, officials to tell the truth, to be honest. On Fox News, they say, you know, uh, fair and balanced. Well, it certainly isn't fair and balanced when it comes to Israel, as does all the mainstream media. They go completely with Israel. Anything Israel says or wants, they, they or want, they get. Our government is completely controlled by the Zionist state of Israel and their flunkies. ADL, APAC, ICE, and many, many other uh, supporters of the Zionist state of Israel. Naming many, many in this country the Christian Zionists to support Israel rather than their own, their own uh, members of their own society and their own country. This is America, folks. And if we don't take it back, we're going to lose it. We're going to be a fourth or fifth world country if we do not take heed of what has happened to this country, all for the sake of Israel. We were giving them $8 million a few days ago. Now we're giving them $11 million a day, thanks to Obama, President Obama. We have to get over this. We have to get over this, this terrible, terrible cover-up, this act of war and war crimes. You can remember the Nuremberg trials. They went after them. Israel went after them. The Jews went after them. Anybody that had anything to do with the Nazis, they went after them, and they're still going after them, as they should when they commit war crimes, when they murder people. You're darn right they should go after them, and I encourage them to, to get every last one of them that committed murder, war crimes against innocent people, as I do the same for the United States of America. Get some guts, Congress. Get some guts, Presidents, please. And bring these, these war criminals in front of you, in front of a, a tribunal, in front of Congress, and ask the survivors. We know the truth. You've never done that for us. You left us then and you left us now. Just because we're getting older doesn't mean that the herd isn't still there. Just because we're getting older doesn't mean that you can't see your shipmates being blown to bits. Just because you're getting older, it doesn't mean that you, that you don't want that to happen to your son. My son just got back from Afghanistan. He spent 24 months in a wounded warrior program, all for the state of Israel. Is he ever going to be the same? No. But he fought for his country. He did it proudly. But he does know who he fought it for now. Iraq, Afghanistan, was all fought for the state of Israel. Now they're trying to get us in a war with, with Iran and Syria and who else knows how many other countries that they would like to get us involved in. So that's the way it is, folks. America is not the America that our, our uh, fathers came home to in 1945 and 1946. It's been going downhill ever since. I love America. I love my brothers and sisters. I love all of you. That's why I do this radio show. I don't want this to happen to you. So, folks, take charge of your life. Write your congressmen and senators, no matter if you think it does any good or not. Let them know, hey, we run this country, not Israel. And also let them know, no more aid to Israel, no more aid to Israel, no more aid to anybody. We take care of America. We take care of America first and America only. Then we give what's left over to the rest of the world, as we've always done. I'm going to get off my high horse, and I have to thank RBN, John Statmiller, our board operator today, Sam, one of the finest on Real News, Real Talk. RBN, the finest station that I know of in this country. Thank you, John Statmiller, for standing by the crew of the USS Liberty. Thank you, RBN, John Statmiller, for standing by America. 
Thank you, RBN. John Miller, for standing by your beliefs. No matter how much heat you take, you stand by it, and I'm proud of you for that. I always will be.